kumshukuru na kumpongeza ndugu yetu David Kemei kwa kuteuliwa katika shirika katika almashauri hii mheshimiwa ya mheshimiwa speaker Mheshimiwa speaker ni mtu ambaye amekuwa David Kemea amekuwa ni mtu mwenye mujitama ambao wa kueleweka ni mtu ambaye amejiweka katika hadhi ambayo inatakiwa kuwekwa katika almashauri hii mheshimiwa speaker Mheshimiwa speaker nikiweza kupigia upato ndugu yangu mheshimiwa Badi ni kwa naweza kusema hivi mheshimiwa speaker Almashauri nyingi mheshimiwa speaker Unapata kama alivyozungumza wana ile mambo ya kufanya biashara mtu mmoja yani monopoli yeye mtu mmoja ndio anataka kufanya biashara peke yake mheshimiwa speaker na mimi nataka kusema kwa mfano ile ile green bulk ya, ya handlers ya kule Mombasa unapata kuna wenzetu ambao wana uwezo wa kufanya biashara hii mheshimiwa speaker lakini mtu mmoja amekatalia yeye peke yake ndo anafanya hiyo biashara mheshimiwa speaker wenzake wamepewa nafasi wenzake wamepewa nafasi ya kufanya lakini unaona mambo yenda kotini na nini kwa hiyo tunajua uh, ndugu yetu David Kemei anaweza kainyoosha mheshimiwa speaker na mambo yakawa sawa mheshimiwa speaker tunaangalia pia katika almashauri ya uh, stima mheshimiwa speaker kuna mambo mengi ambayo yanaendelea na akiweza kutoa mwanya ambao tutapata wengine ambao waweza kufanya shughuli hizi mheshimiwa speaker ikawa uh, mambo ya sima yanaenda vizuri mheshimiwa speaker kwa hiyo mimi nataka leo kumpongeza na pia ni mwambie ndugu yangu badi pole sana kupoteza bodyguard wako Mwenyezi Mungu amrehemu amuhifadhi na wema na Mwenyezi Mungu akupe nguvu ndugu yangu badi asante sana mheshimiwa speaker Lilian Kogo Yes uh, order Lilian Thank you so much uh, honorable Lilian. speaker Yes um, Owen Bayer Honorable speaker while well, I support the sentiments uh, on uh, David Kimei but in this debate on the point of irrelevance is it really right for the, for all members to fight a company without a substantive motion. The issue of grain bulk is being fronted as if it is the main motion. Grain bulk is a respectable company that is doing good business out there. But when we drag its name here because of, I don't know, whatever war they have in Mombasa, I think it's unfair for this company, for the staff of that company, and for the organization called Grain Bulk. I think we need as a country to support this organization without having really to badmouth them in parliament just because you cannot compete with them out there. Honorable Speaker, I think they need to withdraw those statements and stick to the motion on David Keme and competition without necessarily having to badmouth a company that has done Kenya a great job when no one could handle grain in this country. Grain Bulk came and invested. Is it really right for us to fight Grain Bulk Limited in this chamber? Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Hold, uh... Zamzam, we can in it. Asante mwishmiwa speaker. Nataka ni mweleze mwishmiwa Owen Bayer. Jua kuweka matusi kando na maneno kando. Nimesema anafanya kazi nzuri lakini atoe mwanya wa wenzake pia kuweza kufanya biashara ile ile. Siwe ni mtu mmoja. Kwa hiyo hatuja mtukana, hatuja mtusi, usiweke fitna. Hii ni bunge ambayo tunataka ungao katika serikali ama mgao katika taifa uelekee kwa wakenya wote mheshimiwa speaker. Kwa hiyo mheshimiwa baya, mimi ni mpwani wewe ni mpwani na unajua bandari ni yetu sisi sote lazima Sima tuweke wa Kenya wote waweze kupata matunda ndani ya bandari. Asante sana mwishmi wa speaker. Lilian Kogo. I really thank you, Honorable Speaker, to, uh, for giving me this opportunity to also rise and support the uh, nomination of one uh, uh, David Kemei to be the Director General of Competition Authority. And I want to congratulate him. Uh, he's well known in his astuteness in the work that he does. And Honorable Speaker, the point I wanted to add on to what my colleagues have already said is that the appointment of Honorable uh, uh, Kemei comes at a point when, uh, as Kenyans, we are um, entangled in a system where we have the national debate on inclusivity. We have the agenda of everybody 
and all of us being included. I appreciate his uh, qualifications. I appreciate his experience. But he's coming at a time, Honorable Speaker, when the national dialogue and the national agenda is on inclusivity. So I want to appreciate the work that the committee has done, but I still also want to impl implore Kenyans. I want to implore Kenyans and tell them and tell us that it is important that when uh, distributing the national cake, that honorable speaker, that we include all regions, honorable, honorable speaker. At the time that Kenya stands, most Kenyans have been exposed to education, Honorable Speaker. At the place where we find Kenya, Honorable Speaker, most Kenyans are experienced, Honorable Speaker. At the point where I stand, uh, Honorable Speaker, most Kenyans have the capacity to do a good job. So I would implore, Honorable Speaker, that as we appoint uh, noble Kenyans in the various capacities so for them to serve this country, I pray that we follow the, uh, the desire of the Constitution of the Republic of Kenya. We follow the law of the land. We follow the ultimate Bible of the law of Kenya, that we include all Kenyans, Honorable Speaker. I have nothing personal uh, against David. I have nothing I, is not known to me in person. But uh, my, my uh, dear friend, Honorable uh, Member for Aldai, indicates that uh, they, uh, she knows him in person.